All right, dude, I was looking at some salaries earlier. I see several elite arms on the mound, so let's pay up for a pitcher here. Give me a dude who's going to cost you a pretty penny. Yeah, so the the exact show notes say pitcher over 8,500. I know you're a stickler for the rules, Emerson. We've had yep. this debate Thank over you. and over again. So even though I do think on a per dollar basis, Lucas Giolito is the best play on this slate, I will abide by the rules and I will talk about Garrett Cole, who has really just kind of looked like Garrett Cole, his past four starts. Uh, you go into that span, which started on April 24th. He's got a 1.42 ERA that's justified by a FIP that's at 2.02, and he's striking out 33.3% of the opposing batters he has faced within that span of time. He's got a high, high win expectancy tonight against the lowly Baltimore Orioles. And it's not very often you get Garrett Cole sub 10 K. And it's because like you said, Emerson, this is a top loaded starting pitching slate on this six game slate. I mean, there are five elite arms and then there is a whole lot of nothing after that. So even if you want to take Garrett Cole and pair him with Lucas Giolito, who is absurdly priced at yep. just $8,300, I think that might be a viable strategy tonight. All right, so you are recommending Roster and Giolito, who has produced at least 19 fantasy points in four of his five starts. Yeah, the Royals just can't hit. Um, okay. There's a reason you fire your hitting coach in mid-May. Generally, it's that you can't hit. And uh, Giolito has had some weird sort of numbers so far this season, but 35% strikeout rate. He's got a 2.67 expected FIP. He's been a lot better than his surface numbers would suggest, and I think that's going to really shine through against the Royals. 